Good day and welcome to our quick and short demonstration of how to switch or swap or transpose, whatever you want to call it, rows and columns in, in uh, <laughs> uh, Excel. So you can see here, uh, we did an evaluation on uh, the Amazfit Band 5, Google Fit you know, 4, uh, so on and so forth, the Xiaomi, the Samsung, Google, you know, so on and so forth. And uh, when we started, we had uh, about this many rows. And so this table made sense. But we have to display this on a web page. And you can see as we were going through it, it just got wider and wider. We just kept adding things that we wanted to uh, evaluate, including, you know, things like this, you know, just to have water resistance and, you know, things like that. So it got too long. Now, trying to display that on a web page isn't very pretty. So we need to swap that. So let's figure out how to do that. Uh, there are a number of uh, instructions out there that, uh, are not particularly helpful because it's not so much that they're wrong as they're just outdated. So let's show you uh, what uh, the easy way to do this, and then we'll show you where other people say you can't, and I'll show you that you can. So what you do is you select your data, right, including your columns, including your column uh, titles, your row titles, uh, whatever part, whatever portion you want. So I, I, right now I'm just doing a portion of this to show you that you can do a portion. You don't know how have to do the whole thing. So I'm just going to right click on this and I'm going to select copy. Now I can go now go anywhere else, right click, uh, select paste special and you'll see transpose. Bingo. There we go. Now we have the rows and the columns transposed. You think, okay, well, not that rocket sciencey. Yeah, told you it wasn't hard. So there's a couple of things that people tell you to uh, to, to look for. Uh, one of which is that, uh, well, let's just copy this again. Uh, I actually, one of the instructions I've seen actually from Microsoft is that you cannot use shortcuts. You have to use um, cut commands and you can't use keyboard shortcuts and things. That's just not correct. Also, it says that the transpose feature won't be available if you have your data in a table. And I'll show you that that is also incorrect. This is more outdated than incorrect, I'm sure, although it does say Excel 2019 here. And uh, so this should be current, but it just isn't. So let's just show you a couple of things here. The first is, um, well, well, we'll turn this all into a table. So let's go to format as table, which is something I like to do for virtually everything. So there we go. Now I'll select that. And um, uh, we'll select more data this time. Actually, we'll select all of it this time. Right click copy, or you can use copy from here, or you can use a keyboard shortcut, whichever one you're happy with, control C. Now I can uh, click here and I can select paste, special, or I can right click and select paste special. And you see transpose isn't available. Well, that's because we've selected the entire call. So let's, let's the entire table, let's select a slightly smaller portion of it. Let's go over to sleep tracking here, right click, copy. And here we'll do right click, paste special, and transpose is available. So it's only not available if you've selected the entire table. Now, why that is, don't know, makes no sense to me, but that's where it is. So uh, you can see in our case, what we've done is we now have this lovely table and I can go back to my website and where is our review? Scroll down here, there it is. So complete review of all of these bands. I can click on this and it will give us a lovely little story and explanation. And then there's the giant table going all over all of the features. And even here, by the way, I say, well, even this is a lot. So let's slim this grid down and rule out a few things like all the duplicated things. And then we kept scrolling down again and we ruled out some more uh, columns and we got it down to this useful, uh, much more meaningful able for people to work with. But anyway, that's really not important. What is important is that you can transpose, uh, you can switch, you can swap rows and columns quite easily in Microsoft Excel. That's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day.